the neck control. Um, she has a feeding tube. She has a lot of just medical equipment to kind of keep her going. Um, she's got a lot of respiratory issues as well. But she's a very happy girl, um, and we've been trying to just increase awareness to just simply Rett syndrome and what it is is one of our big goals for us. Okay. Well, I, I know that this is, uh, if, if not in, in fact, almost is a full-time job of just caring for uh, your daughter, uh, you and your husband, and uh, the um, uh, all of the physical as well as the mental things that you have to go through, uh, putting for hope. And I'd like to remind our listeners, uh, you can go on Facebook and uh, check out what's going on here. I just did a uh, Hope for Hope, if you just write uh, the word hope, the number four, and hope, hope for hope, all one word. You'll see uh, a link there to Facebook, and you can see what's what's going on there. Find out more information about her particular situation and uh, all of the things that are happening. Now, this is uh, if I've got the flyer in front of me. It's going to be in October uh, at 10 a.m. and it's going to be at the uh, Putt Putt Center, located at 1340 North Church Street here in Burlington. Um, Sarisa, why don't you uh, to tell folks how they can uh, participate? What what do folks need to do if they want to uh, play in the tournament or if they just want to donate money? Absolutely. So, yes, definitely encourage those. If you're on social media, type in the Hope for Hope. We are telling the world her story and all the other Brett Warriors who are out there as well. Um, but, yes, you can play in the tournament, which is definitely fun. Um, there's an entry fee of $25 to play. We've created three divisions this year, um, so lots of opportunity for prizes and things to just have fun and enjoy. Um, Putt-Putt has been fantastic. We did it with them last year, and we're hoping to make this a continual annual thing. Um, you can contact me directly. Um, like I said, the flyer will give you all that information, but feel free um, to contact me via Facebook as well. Um, there, you can certainly donate, just donate, or you can play in the tournament. Or if you're a company or business that wants to donate a prize or um, sponsor one of the prizes, we definitely would enjoy that as well. But it's definitely going to be a fun thing. Um, it's just fun to get out there and see other people. And hopefully we'll have hope with us this year. Last year she was in her very sick State where we are still trying to figure out everything that was going on, but we're hoping everyone will get to meet her as well at the event. Yeah, and, it, and just uh, seeing the uh, the Facebook page and uh, the flyer and that sort of thing, she is just a doll. She is. Uh, she looks like she's such a happy baby, uh, and and uh, you know that something terrible like this is going on with her. It just doesn't seem right. Uh, but there's a, a, a lot that can still be done. It, as we said, this is uh, a non-curable situation, but uh, it's about her quality of life, and there's research going on uh, to uh, hopefully yeah. find a cure for this, too. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, that, is, that is correct. Um, so that is something my husband is definitely keeping a very close watch on is the research um, it is very hot in the research arena right now. Um, actually, we just had our first drug ever submitted for FDA review and approval, and they're hoping to have a decision on what we're going to do from the FDA perspective by March of this year, so it's just around the corner. So we all have hope, and, you know, hope same being hope. We never knew what that was going to mean when we had her. I just always had it press upon my heart when before I even had her, that I wanted to name my little girl Hope. Mm -hmm. And when she was born, we named her Hope, and now she is the hope of our future. And um, so if this drug does get approved, um, we're definitely, my husband has already kind of decided in all his research that we are definitely going to try this drug on Hope. They've seen some, you know, motor skill improvements. Um, but, you know, there's side effects that come with it. But with Hope, I mean, we just want to increase her quality of life as much as we can. Like you said, she is a very, very happy baby. She rarely will ever cry unless she is in pain, and they do experience pain on a daily basis for things from gastro to just muscle stuff. Um, you know, they just seizures. I mean, lots of different things that these kids have, but they are quite the fighters, and 
a lot of people don't know or think that. I mean, they understand what we're saying, but their bodies won't let them communicate. So she has, um, it's a MCP2 gene mutation, and this mutation is a, a very important protein that your body needs to fire off tell your body what to do so just simple things as breathing like she's on a ventilator at night to sleep already at her age um telling your brain to talk telling your brain to walk this protein is so important well her mutation is one of the most severe mutations of this gene so her protein of that development started stopped very early Hmm. in her um gene development so she's just got a lot less of that protein so that's just one of the difficulties for these girls and there are boys that have this but it's rare in the boys mm-hmm. yeah they, I, what I read said that uh, it is most prevalent uh, in, in girls and in, in this sort of thing um, absolutely Sarisa we are going to take a little break here uh, we are talking yes. with, with Sarisa Valdez she is the mother of Hope Valdez and there is a golf tournament coming up putting for Hope mini golf tournament that's going to be held at the putt putt here in Burlington and if you'd like to participate in that, you can find out more information on their Facebook page, uh, Putting for Hope, all one word, uh, under Facebook. Just do a search for that, and you'll find out more information there. We're going to take a break, but uh, if you have any questions for Sarisa about uh, the tournament and or about Hope, you can give us a call and join in our conversation at 336-222-9224. We'll be back right after this. Nothing says good eating like a deluxe seafood platter at Huey's and Bibbon, including flounder, calabash shrimp, oysters, devil crab, and scallops. Or try the Landon Seafood Platter, a six-ounce ribeye with calabash or jumbo fried shrimp. Other choices include hickory smoked barbecued ribs, chopped barbecue plates and sandwiches, and fried chicken. Huey's Restaurant and Oyster Bar, Highway 70 East of Mebbin, still offering curbside service for takeout orders. Call 919-563-6731. Summer is coming to an end, which means it's time for smart savings to start the fall and school year. At King Tire Pros, we offer incredible deals on all qualifying Michelin passenger and light truck tires, along with financing options that fit any need. With King Tire Pros by your side, get back to school ready with the tires, traction, and confidence you need to stay smart on the road. Visit us online today at kingtireofmevin.com. Tire Pros, love the drive. Subject to credit approval, restrictions apply. See store for complete details. Serving all of your jewelry needs for over 80 years is more than a saying. It's the pride and services that Pillars Jewelers stands behind. Family owned and operated, Pillars Jewelers specializes in custom jewelry and complete watch and jewelry repair. When it comes to that special day, you need to look no further for bridal diamonds, gemstones, gold, platinum, and silver, or have your one of a kind design custom made for you. Pillars also buys gold and silver, including coins. Located beside the Village Grill at 546 Huffman Mill Road. Woody's Body Shop is Alamance County's collision and automobile service repair facility. At Woody's, they strive to give each customer the best service possible by offering towing, interior repair, rental car assistance, and minor mechanical services with guaranteed satisfaction. For a free estimate, call 336 228 Seven eight six five Woody's Body Shop with over 50 years of experience in Alamance County. Your roof is the most important part of your home. Make sure you're protected with SureTop Roofing. We're locally owned, operated, and have been proudly serving Alamance County for the last decade. Plus, we offer a 50-year warranty on our shingles and 10 years on labor. If you're a veteran, ask us about our Roofs for Troops rebate program. Visit SureTopRoofing.com and listen to our weekly radio show at TheCarolinaContractor.com. SureTop Roofing, we've got you covered. There's a great new way to buy your next car, where you want, when you want, and how you want. It's called Go Modern, and it's online car buying simplified. Pick your car, pick your payment, arrange financing, and value your trade-in all from your phone or computer. Or just do some of that and finish at one of your local modern dealerships, Modern Chevrolet, Cadillac, or Mazda. Go Modern, the new way to experience the modern difference. 
All right, welcome back to the meeting place. Mark Hall with you on a Friday, and uh, we've got about uh, 13 minutes before uh, 11 o'clock. We're talking with Sarisa Valdez, and uh, she is uh, she has a daughter named Hope, and there is a uh, mini golf tournament coming up. And this is going to be in October, so you've got plenty of time to get involved with this if you like. And uh, her daughter has a genetic neurological developmental disorder that uh, affects the way the brain develops. This is called Rett syndrome. And uh, the, the, the disorder causes a progressive loss of motor skills and language and uh, Rett syndrome primarily affecting uh, females. Um, so, Risa, uh, we talked a little bit about... Uh, uh, kind of to touch the surface, but what what are some of the things that uh, uh, prospective parents may look for if, if for this? I mean, this is I'm, I'm assuming this was never something that's on your radar screen. Nothing in your background or nothing in your husband's background as far as uh, seeing something like this uh, happening. Yeah, that's correct. Most of these children develop normal within the first six months. Or so, um, and then you start to see what they call regression. So you start to see them lose some of the things that they had started to do, whether it be crawl. I mean, some of these um, kids end up walking and talking and all those things, but they can then regress and they can over time. I lost you there. Unfortunately. Oh, can you hear me? Yes. You don't know what, but. Uh, I lost you there for a okay, second. Okay. So, um, so, yeah, so basically um, they typically progress from born to about 6 to 12 months pretty normally, and then they start to lose some of the things that they have gained. Okay. And with Hope, unfortunately, she was a really early regressor, so she's never even set up or she's maybe rolled over once or twice when she was like four months old. Mm-hmm. So she was just an early regressor. But if they're very chill low-key, you're seeing choking issues, breathing issues, you should definitely start talking to your doctor about some blood tests that may diagnose some type of syndrome that could be causing these issues. Okay. Now, is there, and, and, and I w- I'd like you to, to tell folks a little bit about, you know, what your life is like with her, what her day, day-to-day um, activities, what she's going through now. You said she has to sleep with a ventilator. And uh, that she has mm-hmm. a uh, she has a uh, feeding tube, uh, all of the things that that you and your husband and and I ex- I'm sure your extended family has to help out with and, and that sort of thing. And that's one of the reasons you're having this tournament is to help uh, make her quality of life better. And uh, unfortunately, that takes money and and that sort of thing. But what it is does. What, there? I know there's no typical day, but but kind of give folks an idea of, of what life is like for you and her. Yeah, so we. Absolutely. So it's a pretty um, intense day. Um, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to get Hope up and going every day to start her off with getting her feed set up because she is on a feeding tube um, to get, you know, she's on over 10 medications already, three procedures for one. One of those, she's got a secretion med, um, lots of different types of medications. She gets a nebulizer, two different types of, of um, solutions every morning. She has to go through a chest belt that kind of shakes her chest up to help break up the mucus. Um, she has to get her COT monitored to see how her COT was being. Um, she has a pulse ox, so we monitor her oxygen levels every day. Um, she also, you know, has that ventilator, like I said, at night. She has PT, um, physical therapy, twice a week. She has occupational therapy twice a week. Um, she's currently gotten an eye gazing machine so she can start communicating with her eyes hmm. that's 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 interesting I mean, like you said she's a, a very happy baby uh, despite all of that's, yes. that's going on with this and so she sounds like she's very bright um and uh she she's just uh you know has all of these things on her and and that you're having to deal with uh and uh like remind folks the uh the tournament is coming up on the 15th of October. It's going to be at Putt-Putt here in Burlington at 1340 North Church Street. Uh, I'd advise you to uh, to check this out. Come to the Facebook page that, that you have. Uh, just do a little search for Putting for Hope. That's just the word putting immediately followed by the numeral for and hope. All one word. 
and uh, you'll see their Facebook page pop up, and you can find out more about what's, uh, what's going on here. Uh, you're going to have uh, medals and prize money there. There's a 50-50 raffle and an ace or else competition. I don't know if you want to talk about that. I'm not familiar with that, but uh, all of the proceeds are going towards uh, handicap uh, home modifications for Hope and uh, all of the things that you have to deal with there. So uh, this is, uh, I believe, not the uh, first time that you've done this. This is the second annual uh, putting for Hope. So uh, we hope that we'll ha you'll have a big turnout there. And uh, what should folks expect when they come out to, to the tournament? If, if you can, you'll hopefully have Hope there. Yeah, so um, like I said, the event does start at 10. Registration and practice, if you would like to practice, you can start that at 9 o'clock. You can sign up by contacting me. Um, like I said, the information is on the flyer, but you can text me directly at 336 266 Zero nine three five nine, and that's three three six two six zero nine three five nine. It will be two eighteen hole um, rounds of the tournament, and there will be three divisions, so lots of opportunity for prizes and things like that. And like I said, you can play, or if you would simply like to donate, we definitely would appreciate that. We're definitely looking for other prizes to kind of give off during the tournament too. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we're going to take a, another quick break, Sarisa. We're talking with Sarisa Valdez, whose uh, daughter, Hope, uh, is the reason that uh, we're having putting for Hope, the mini golf tournament that's going to be held at Putt-Putt Center. Uh, Hope has a uh, neurological, uh, genetic neurological and developmental disorder that affects the way the brain develops. So, as you can imagine, lots of uh, doctor bills and all sorts of things that you have to do in order to make her have some quality of life. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. And if you have any questions, give us a call at 336 222-9224. Back after this. If you own rental property or are looking for a place to rent, Burlington Rentals can help. A locally owned rental and property management company, Burlington Rentals has been trusted to do both for over 25 years. If you like owning rental property but don't like taking the maintenance calls, let Burlington Rentals take those calls for you. If you're looking for a clean, affordable place to live, Burlington Rentals can help. Drop by to see them, 2280 South Church Street, Suite 205, or contact them online at BurlingtonRentalsNC.com. Boomer Compact Tractors from Graham Tractor Company and Graham give you big tractor reliability wrapped in a compact maneuverable package. They'll build New Holland Smart with features that keep you comfortable and productive while saving you time and money. Buy now and get a fantastic deal plus a five-year limited warranty on most Boomer models. You won't find a better compact tractor warranty or a better compact tractor anywhere. Stop by Graham Tractor in Graham for a Boomer test drive. They're built New Holland Smart. Offer valid only on tractors purchased from an authorized New Holland dealer. Wouldn't it be great if you could get auto, home, business, life, retirement, and farm insurance all from one agency? Well, that's where the Brent Hardy Agency comes in. They can help protect what's important to you. So why not simplify your life? See Brent Hardy in Burlington at 410A Holly Hill Lane. Or give him a call today at 336-584-1793. Nationwide is on your side. Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company and Affiliates, Columbus, Ohio. Little Donnie Walker's Car Wash boasts some of the best car washes around. People in Alamance County know to take their vehicles in for a spotless cleaning at Little Donnie's. Getting a great car wash at Little Donnie's Car Wash is fast, easy, and economical at any of their convenient locations. It's environmentally friendly, too. When you drive into a Little Donnie's Car Wash bay, your vehicle will come out looking just the way you like it, and you don't even have to get out of your car. Little Donnie Walker's Car Wash. There's one near you in Burlington and Graham. Don't let the name fool you. You can improve your vehicle's performance by entrusting custom exhaust work to Willow Tree Muffler in Haw River. But the guys in the Willow Tree shop can also perform general maintenance on your car or truck. Along with its belts to brakes auto services, the Willow Tree team performs state vehicle inspections too. So don't drive all over Alamance County trying to get your car fixed or inspected. Just take it to Willow Tree Muffler at the intersection of Highway 70 and 49 at the bypass in Haw River. Find them online at willowtreemuffler.com. 
Hey, this is Jim Quick with the Swamp Soul Show right here every Saturday at 7 o'clock on your hometown radio station, WBAG 105.9 FM and 1150 AM. It's an eclectic blend of neo-soul, rhythm and blues, and some Americana. Pretty much a wacky hour, but it's good foot stomping stuff. So we'll see you this Saturday at 7 o'clock on WBAG with the Swamp Soul Show. All right, welcome back to The Meeting Place. Mark Hall with you. And, of course, my guest today is Sarisa Valdez, who is the mother of Hope Valdez. And there's a tournament coming up. But, uh, Sarisa, uh, I believe we got a caller on the line with us. Good morning. Hey, this is uh, her brother, Robert, or I me, mean, Bobby. Um, I just wanted to shout out that she's doing great, doing with the interview. And we started this last year with my involvement that it's bigger this year by me uh, soliciting gifts and we want to try to get more gifts like she said on the air a few okay. minutes ago and this means a lot for our family yeah 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 she seems like it's a tough yeah, I'm sure. I am, I'm sure we don't. We have no idea what all the you and your your whole family are going through, and uh, we hope that uh, you know this will be uh, a successful event for you, and uh, that uh, the the research that's going on that well, that that'll be successful also. Uh, Sarisa, and I just wanted to shout out to tell her she's doing a good job on air. She was nervous, so if anybody else. Is calling. I can hang up. Okay. I just want to give her a shout out. All right. Okay. Thank you, Bobby. We have a thank you. <laughs> okay. Love you. Bye. Uh, Love you too. Okay. Bye. Yeah, she's 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 been doing great. She's uh she's she's wonderful. And I said, ask her if she'd ever done this before. She said, no. I said, well, I can't tell that. So, <laughs> but you uh you know you've been forced into this. You know way more than you ever would have thought you would about any sort of uh, situation like this. So uh, you have been doing a great job. But, Teresa, would you tell folks, uh, it, it's hard to imagine for, if you've never heard of what Rett syndrome is, what, how would you describe it? Yeah, so the easiest way to tell people that is just imagine a child with autism, cerebral palsy, Parkin, epilepsy, and anxiety disorders all in one little child. Mm. That is Rett syndrome in a nutshell. So if you know people with any of those disorders, disorders, you know what they are and how impactful. But put that all in one little child, it is, it is a lot um, for a child to deal with as well as the family and the friends that are trying to care for them. Like I was telling um, during the break, Hope was, has been in the hospital now 37 nights in a 12-month period over nine different visits. So wow. there's a lot of in and out of the hospital. Yeah. So a, a girl, little girl who is in very much uh, need of uh, a lot of care and uh, a lot of technology, and, of course, that costs money, and uh, that's uh, the reason, too, that we're having this uh, tournament coming up at uh, the Putt-Putt located here in Burlington. It's going to be on uh, October the 15th, beginning at 10 a.m. Registration and practice, which I, I would definitely need a bunch of that, at 9 a.m. They're located at 1340 North Church Street. And uh, the tournament fee is uh, $25. And, of course, if you would like to donate or uh, participate in any other way, you can do that, too. I would advise you to go to the Facebook page, Putting for Hope. That's all one word. And uh, it's Putting, the numeral four, and Hope, which, of course, is her name. And that's going to be Hope for Hope um, will be the Facebook page. Hope for, hope for Hope. Okay. All right. Well, yes, that is that is true. Somehow I got that on put. Uh, it, it came up Putting for Hope, too. But anyway, it will get you there. You may pull up the event that way. That's but, yeah. it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. But her, her Facebook page is Hope for Hope. Thank you for correcting me. I appreciate that. And uh, any final words that you would like to let folks know about, Sarisa, before we go? No, I just like to definitely encourage people, if you're on social media, go to Hope for Hope on Facebook to learn about Hope. She is just, she is just an angel, sweet girl that is an inspiration to so many. And she's, like I said, she's the hope for our future. And everyone, I mean, you're going to help bring awareness to this condition. And we're hoping that our awareness will help maybe red flag others, individuals. And I want to help others that are dealing with this. So please reach out if you have any further questions. I love to talk about hope. 
and thank you for having me on the show today. Well, you're so welcome, and uh, our thoughts and prayers are with you and uh, for success not only with the tournament but with hope. Thank you for being here. Thank you. All right, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. The news is coming up next, and the Swap Shop will follow. You're listening to AM 1150, FM 105.9, WVAG, Burlington Graham.